Well, let's turn to Taraba State, where Governor Agbu Kethes has announced implementation of the federal government-approved minimum wage for civil servants. Governor Kethes says the move is one of the steps to address the effect of the petrol subsidy removal. The new minimum wage will take effect from this October. Correspondent Olabi Adenusi filed in this report. At this hall are members of the State Executive Council and other stakeholders in Taraba projects. They are gathered here at the instance of Governor Kefas Agbu, who is worried by the hardship the residents are going through as a result of subsidy removal by the federal government. Governor Agbu Kefas used the occasion to roll out his palliative measures to caution the effects of subsidy removal before the stakeholders hit the state. The governor said the welfare of people of the Taraba state remained paramount to his administration. He explained that local solutions such as retrofitting vehicles from failed propelled engines to gas and electric powered engines will be considered. We will implement the federal government approved minimum wage effective October 2023 to civil servants in Taraba state. The governor also said the government will partner local transport union to subsidize their fares for commuters as well as collaborate with farmers and vendors to ensure food items are affordable through subsidized price. Public transportation and food subsidy. We will partner with local transport unions to subsidize public transport fare for commuters in need. This will make public transportation viable for citizens and ease the burden of increased fuel prices. The State Commissioner for Information and Reorientation, Zainab Usman Jalingo, gave more insight into the palliative measures, including the new minimum wages for civil servants. His concern over the effect of um, subsidy removal to the ordinary citizens of Taraba, its um, long lasting effect on the citizens and how he intends to help all Tarabans to scale through these processes. The leadership of the People's Democratic Party in the state and the state chairman joint public service negotiating council commended the governor for the steps taken. He has approved the implementation of the 30,000 Naira minimum wage which was signed into law. 10,000 women and youths will be temporarily engaged for six months on a monthly stipend of 15,000 naira as cleaners. While Palliative Care Committee Task Force has been constituted to ensure that all measures are achieved.